This video contains two calls made by Ernesto on November 1st, 2023. These calls are a bit different than the others we've heard because in these, Ernesto talks the majority of the time. In this first call, Ernesto asks Dre to call Coach before he says what he needs to say. Coach sounds like Sonia to me, just like you all guessed. Ernesto also mentions that he talked to Young Thug. Take a listen. Hello? Hello. How are you doing today, sir? Good, yeah, but what's going on? Good. Hold on for me one second. Okay. I can't get out of my little call. Okay, go ahead, Ernie. Okay, I need to call you back because it's going to take 15 minutes for me to see what I got to say. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, can you call uh, Coach Real fast? I just need to hear what I got to say. Call who? Coach. Coach. You got a coach number? Not program. I think I got it on the text. Hold on, for me one second. Hello? Okay. okay. Yeah? Yeah. Hold on, okay. for me. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Okay. All right, so, uh, they ain't got to talk. They ain't got to talk. Let's do the need for the list. Okay, so yesterday, uh, I don't know who called who yesterday, but, uh, Pinocchio, Paramation came up visiting me yesterday. You know who that is, right? Mm hmm Okay, Paramation came to see me yesterday. So when Paramation came to see me yesterday, he was, uh, saying some stuff. I was just listening to everything, but what he didn't understand was, I'm trying to break it down. You're not on these cases that I have right here, the serious cases that I have. You don't take those cases. So why are you concerned about uh, my friend calling my other friend trying to get me something started over here to protect me? So I need that protection that you don't, you're not specializing in. That's what you told me. Also, he, he tried to say a couple of things I didn't like um, because he don't like the coach. You understand what I'm saying, sir? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said a couple of things I didn't like because he don't like uh, coach because coach would be our only motherfucking ass. And I don't know, I might have mentioned you before. You remember that movie, uh, not movie, that series with uh, uh, Raising Canaan, the, the mama? You remember her, right? Mm-hmm. This, this is who coach exactly act like, exactly. Don't be bullshitting around. Got all the facts together. Uh, these folks went into the courtroom, been there two times with me, and seen how these folks said that they had no fucking evidence on me. And it's called hearsay. Hearsay is a, is a Georgia law that they get you bound up with. If, if, they say, if I say, hey, man, you went into my house, and, and says you got a girlfriend in the house, and she take away your phone, and you try to stop her from going in, going out the door with your phone. That is, is called kidnapping from one spot to another. Or they call it hearsay. You didn't do it intentionally. You're trying to get your property back, but it's called hearsay. They don't have to have evidence to bind you over to be indicted. You understand what I'm saying? Just say, uh-huh, you know, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He don't know. He don't know. He don't know. So what I'm saying yesterday, I don't know who called who yesterday. I don't know if he called you or you called him. It doesn't really matter as long as you got I need for you. Uh, my he, he called me. I don't have his number. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't tell you that? No, he didn't tell me that. He said he talked to you. He had to talk with you. Yeah. And I said, well, what he the called me, and he, and he said he was calling all the friends. That, that that you had told him about. Okay, for what? Because that the remaining balance need to be paid. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't no remaining <laughs> balance. So first of all, I'm just me. telling you. I'm telling you what he told me. Uh, I'm like, what? What is you talking about? It's my first time hearing this. Okay, this is for the problem. We got confusing it, and that's why I wrote a letter to him. Gave it to him yesterday. It took him a month to come back and get it. I then he turned around. I sent the letter to my son. He got the letter and he got the contract. 
here's the deal. She gave him, my wife gave him uh, 35000 plus $600. Okay, then charge another four hundred dollars for getting some transcripts. Okay, here's another thing. We I ain't even went to a clean arraignment. I ain't even been indicted. I ain't even been to no trial. I ain't been to nothing. Okay, I have nothing on them cases. The cases just got dismissed. Them crackers dismissed the shit because they say, oh, we gonna try to come back with Rico. No, you didn't got no evidence. So he ain't did no work in that. He ain't did. He shit. said he he said he got them dismissed. He turned the motherfucker. <laughs> I'm telling you what he told me. He said he did that. No, no, bro. No, no, you talk. Don't you, you talk later. You talk later. You talk later, coach. Now, just listen. He's lying, bro. Don't folks, he brought an email, and I read the email. The email said, them folks is dropping that shit because they want to come back with Rico. I got the email when I read it. Okay, and the Rico, it ain't no Rico. They've been talking about the Rico since last year. We're talking about 16 fucking months. I don't even know organized crime shit. What the fuck? The owner you know? also you know? said that he's been trying to reach out to him, and he has not been returning the prosecutor's phone call. At all. And he sent him the email. That's why he got the email. No, bro. He don't, he, listen, he don't even he respond to nobody's shit. Okay, and, and then here's, here's, here's another thing that would kill me off yesterday. When I gave him that letter, he was so fucking drunk yesterday. No, nigga, because you tried to go behind my back on some dumb shit and tell me I owe you, telling people you, I, owe you, I don't owe you a motherfucking thing. You paid the fool. You ain't even did goddamn 10 dollars worth of work. What the fuck is you talking about? Only went a bond here one time, two times, and you go back to the second one, that's how the shit got leaked out, because she, he, I don't know if this motherfucker was drunk or what the fuck, he, was, he had the system doing whatever, but they put, they put the, uh, the, the strange wife name on the fucking paper, and somebody got that shit and leaked it out, that's how it got leaked out. If you go back to when I went to the club, uh, to that child shit online, that fucking prostitute lied like a motherfucker and roasted his ass, and he sit there and said a motherfucking thing when she when that bitch said eight hundred thousand. They was laughing at me and shit. What the fuck? They were laughing. Now you tell me everybody in the world on that is judging, saying you he he gonna be fucked if he got that lawyer right there. You damn right. You never heard me work for a motherfucking thing. I've been having that man a whole year. He's been telling me the same thing. Oh, you going home? You gonna do? Oh yeah, bro. Russian. Can you gonna pay the money? You gonna? You don't pay the money. That money was paid in a month, bro. One month. You know I ain't lying. One month. Mm -hmm. Had to take money, get money back. Had to get money back from BC, all that. And make sure he got his money. I went through all that shit, man. Make sure he went through all that. And he don't like, he don't like goddamn coach. Cause coach be on the motherfucking ass and coach drill his ass before we ain't got started. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to make this shit up. So I don't need him to do no other work and this and that. He's going to take him cases that's sitting out there and he ain't even been indicted. You know what I'm saying? And it made me look like a fool. You go back to the the, uh, the the video that was sent to you this weekend. That's why they didn't give me a motherfucking bum because I still, they're saying that I'm a threat to society because I got open fucking cases. I got eight, seven, eight cases open that's sitting that he ain't got them put no fast and speedy trial. If they ain't got no evidence of the year, motherfucker, what you think? Come on now. Then you told me it's a certain, it's another certain, it's a certain case, and it should be thrown out. Uh, why is I'm going, why are you talking about trial? Then you come back, goddamn, but two months later, hey man, I need to get out these cases here, and you sign these papers right here, and um, and then the state will pick up these cases, and then, you know, and they're going to outsource your cases to some, another private lawyer. What the fuck is you talking about, nigga? What the fuck are you talking about? You made me look like a fool four times. Four times. Okay, then I'm like, hey, man, I need the evidence. You got, I ain't got enough staff. That ain't my motherfucking problem. That ain't no motherfucking problem if you ain't got no goddamn staff. That ain't my problem. I stated that all in the letter that, that fucking Dion got, if he fucking ready. So you, I, I need you to call your fucking nephew and tell him that if he can't goddamn read, get a bitch to read it for him. I don't give a fuck. He needs to read what I sent to him to his uncle so his uncle can see what the real shit is. I just stated out, look here, man, you don't got your money. I need you to got and put a fast speed trial. I need to put another bond here and here. Oh, I, I don't think I need to do that. Ain't man, I'm not listening to nothing you saying. I'm facing a life motherfucking sentence, bro. You did that same thing with that shit. Tell you why she don't need to pay that money because I can, I can handle it. You can handle the shit, bro. 
I got an $800,000 bond for them. It only calls for a, a, a $10,000, bro. That's a $10,000 bond. I have a, a, I have a murder bond, bro. That shit is just fucking ridiculous. Okay? I'm not trying to hear that shit. Not at all. And the reason you, you, you involve, uh, to my life on this situation now is because I can't go in there with a public defender with, with this type of charge and catch a license for something I didn't do. Here's another, here's a killer. When I went to my preliminary here, the preliminary here, um, the judge said, well, did you get any evidence? The judge and the motherfucker, uh, uh, public defender asked the damn police at the time. She said, no, I don't have any evidence at all. Do you have any calls from Mr. Williams? Do you have any kind of, uh, conversation with Mr. Williams, uh, interacting with these people? No, I don't have any evidence of none of that. What the fuck I'm still hitting here for? Then it got the DA got up and said, read some code out of the fucking law book saying, hey, hearsay is the judge of law. We don't have to have no evidence at this time. Boom, bound though. We're going to die and die them. Is that four months? I have not been indicted on none of that shit. It's been 16 months. I've been still sitting here with unindicted cases. They indicted me with them first two car charges because uh, they didn't want me to get the fuck out of here because they know I couldn't get no bond at the time when I was still up under the COVID law. So I sit here for fucking 15 months before they even decide to drop this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, no, he did not go in there talking about he got that shit dropped. Them crackers dropped here because they talking about a RICO. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even believe that's the truth because any nigga can type up any motherfucking thing and bring it to you and make it look like it came from them folks. So I don't trust nothing right now, to be honest with you. I really don't. So right now, I'm scared of my motherfucking life right now for some shit I didn't even fucking do and I got to prove. Guess what? I ain't even got no phone record, bro. I done told that nigga to go down there and get my fucking property. Nigga ain't went and did shit, ain't filed shit, ain't did nothing. And I know what I'm talking about because I see crackers ain't getting no low. You're doing it all the day long in here. And you just told me uh, 10, 15 years ago what you went through. And I was down. And your lady went and got your fucking property back and everything. Hell in his motherfucking business. I'm not trying to hear that shit. My shit in my property going to set me motherfucking free. Oh, you need to get your Google. I don't remember no motherfucking Google password. I don't remember none of that shit. Trying to make the job easy for their ass. No, that ain't what you paid for. You paid to get your ass in the dirt, in the mud, and set a nigga free. That's what's going on right now. So when he come in and tell me, oh, I talked to your bud, this and that, he go, he go, man, you can't tell me nothing about that man there at all. You can't tell me nothing. And he's not trying to, he's not green. He's not going to listen to what the fuck you're saying. You got to come up with your facts. Your facts was fucking raggedy to me. So now you're talking about some unpaid shit. No, nigga, you got 35 cash plus six plus a four. I don't owe you nothing. We ain't went to no trial. We ain't, this ain't no, ain't no trial motherfucking case. That's what pissing me the fuck off. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so I, what I'm asking you and my friend and my brother, I need you to sit down with got down coach and, and listen and let them folks show you the facts so you can see what the fuck going on. Oh, I'm going to be done. I'm going to be done. Oh, you need to work with them. How's a, how's a real lawyer that got paid uh, all that money going to tell you you need to work with these public defender folks and they got to do a good job? Motherfucker, I'm going to show you they don't do Why the fuck you was hired? Because I don't want that. I can't deal with that. My shit's just simply. Then he said, oh, they using your pads. Nigga, this niggas got killer charges in here getting them bonds and shit with two, three motherfucking merch and aggravated assault and and all that getting bonds. I'm not trying to hear that shit. Oh, you re- ain't did that in 32 years. You going to tell me because I had an all robbery in 32 years? That makes me a violent offender now? People change in 32 motherfucking years. You you have nothing, nothing. Oh man, oh you know um. Uh well you know I talked to you right. I don't want to hear about what she got to say because she ain't saying shit. She ain't reaching out. She moving on with her life. That's her. That's good for her. They ain't got the wheel to drive over there, bro. All that uh, kiki kaka shit. I I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to hear that shit. So I'm just telling you, and my friend, they call you back with that fluff shit, say, hey, man, I understand, keep moving, you know, just take care of them, look at that's it, I, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. He can't help me no more than what I need for him to do. So I'm asking you to just, just listen to that, 
But if you folk they folk been with me a year and a half. That's what I'm trying to say. They ain't led me wrong, they facts been together, they got all the facts. And if they didn't have the fact, they would have been gone too. So I'm just telling you straight up. So please don't get into the, the flam flam and it would make me mad. Oh so yeah, he your brother wanna know well he wanna know what he paying for. Hold up. That don't even sound like he talking like that. That don't even sound like him at all. So no, I I'm not trying to hear that. Oh, you need to go ahead and get me out of the case or let them folks take care of your case. What? They, they're they going to sub you out because you got too many of them. How? Man, if I would have heard that shit he talking about, uh, he got them folks off me, man, I would have blowed on that motherfucker. I ain't no way to lie to you. And I already blowed on them goddamn one time already. That been about two months ago because I couldn't take all them goddamn, that, that old Jeff and ass shit. Them niggas be doing chain game. Jeff and popping and shit. And that other shit be coming out. So I ain't like that. I didn't like mm-hmm. it. So I'm just being honest with you, bro. And I'm, I'm begging you as a friend. I'm not a fucking, you know me. You don't been me. You don't see me before. If I'm guilty, fuck, I'm going to take it with the chin. I'm going to turn myself in. You don't see me through all that shit. You ain't see me crying or some shit if I did it. But goddamn, I ain't finna got them text shit I ain't do. And ain't even none of my fucking style. And I'm kind of got me in the wham wham because guess what? They're in the corrupt system. I'm dealing with a system that's stealing fucking goddamn money from the MA commissary. It's all on the news. You're, so yeah, fucking, that. you're stealing fucking money from the commissary, from the nigga, from the, ch- from the jail? Mm-hmm. Having parties and shit? Man, come on, man. I'm, I'm fucked up. I'm in a corrupt system. And goddamn BC told me, you're in a corrupt system, man. There ain't nothing I can do. He told me that shit a year ago. I was four months in the game then. It's nothing I can really do, man. I know you keep getting on me there, but I just ain't nothing I'm confused. They're trying to put this on you. They're trying to put that on you. Okay? You see it. The police got there was a fucking police. She was a role police when she was arresting me. Now she done made lieutenant on my mother. No, she done made fucking detective on me off of what I'm dealing with. And I, and I wouldn't be dealing with it if who I want to connect it to. I don't have none of these motherfucking problems. So that's the deal. The deal that motherfucker gonna have a fancy color and drilly motherfucker, and that motherfucker try to dismiss them because they liked it, them people. You understand what I'm saying? They liked it, them people. That the eye candy was too full for them. So they couldn't goddamn control the goddamn eye candy. They started nothing to fuck up. I don't want to talk to them no more. I don't want to deal with them. No, nigga, you know them folks on your ass. You got goddamn blindsided. That's what the fuck real deal really happened. That so what really, really happened. So it's a shame. So I can't even call. If I want to even say, strange wife, could you help me? She's so goddamn confused. She can't come. Uh, can't think coming to go because she's been dealing with you goddamn lawyer uh, back in the fall. They lying to her. Yeah, just do this right here. Say, I can do this. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. And you bringing no motherfucking concrete evidence. Then as soon as something happened in the courtroom, well, I did. You ain't did nothing, nigga. You ain't did nothing. You did nothing. So it's the same thing what I'm dealing with this color funnel like I now actually send me them transcripts. Please send me the transcripts while I went to court for a preliminary hearing. The preliminary hearing gonna stay it's no motherfucking evidence. Okay, they said it out loud. I need it for my bond here. This bitch got up there and choked. If you see the fucking video, that jail was so fucking raw, she had it all up in there shaking like a motherfucker. And my fucking current got up there and said nothing. I about passed out in the fucking in the courtroom here. I saw my life flash out in front of me. Straight up. Ain't nobody came to no courtroom. Ain't, I ain't seen no fucking victim impact statement. I ain't never been inv- uh, interviewed. I ain't had none of that, bro. You go through all them processes. I have not went to none of that. At all. At all. And my, and my, and my um... And my motherfucking goddamn, my alibi is going out and drinking because the shit getting one year, two year, three years, the shit getting watered the fuck down. I need my phone record. I, need, I, I, I don't get none of that. I have never seen none of that, bro. None of that. The only time I've seen that in the discovery that the charges that he just got down dismissed. Makes no sense. He got that done. Nigga, you ain't get shit done. You ain't get shit done. He'll come up here, see me, you know, property, this and that. But when it's time to get down, Oh, no, we're not going to put that motion in. We're not going to do this. Come on, I'm not trying to hear that shit. It, this shit ain't that complicated. This shit is complicated. I can't even goddamn get the fuck out. 
So they hit me with that goddamn the, the child shit first. Then they turned, they, they haven't indicted me. They indicted me because they're going to use that against me when I went to court. Oh, you see, Charles, he got a charge, a violent charge on this right here. It's recently. But I ain't been convicted. And when you deal with the petty judges, with the petty small court, that's what they look at. So he got a, he got, what they call this shit, um, repeated offender on the same thing. I don't have that on my record. Now I have that on my arrest record. That's how they've been playing this game the whole time. You there? Mm-hmm. Hello? He Hello? here. If I'm here. He here. If I'm here. Oh, okay, okay. So, but it, basically what I'm saying is, it's just a lot, man. I'm burned the fuck out. Now, I ain't finna give up. I ain't finna get down. I ain't signing no papers. I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, um, playing out this shit at all. So, the person that they got now, uh, who they found, they even came up here and broke some shit down for free. This nigga charged me 1500 off the gate last year just to come see me. The other person came in and charged me shit. Came up here and gave me more advice than I had. It's the first time I ain't got a uh, fucking damn lawyer to talk to. Everybody was charging 1500 2000 to come see you for 45 fucking minutes and then bring some game with the rest. This one ain't did that. So the only thing he told me was good, he said, man, if whoever you get, they're not going to get you uh, in the courtroom for that type of case for 100 in 80 days. Well, I need to check on that day. Is that true? So, I'm going to get goddamn coach and fire. Is that true? And that nigga lying about that shit now trying to keep me from hiring somebody else and put the money in his motherfucking pocket. Ain't no money going in your pocket, nigga, because you ain't got no more cases. You got them old cases. Get them cases. You pay for that. Get that shit out of the way. Stop fucking around. And I gave him that paper yesterday. I said, I need you to go ahead and file that fast speedy trial because I'm a way past due. And every time I talk to a new attorney, they said, why them cases keep lingering over like that? Why are you? Why are they just sitting there? They should have been been taken care of. They're nothing. I know they ain't nothing. This nigga don't want to work. And he fucked me off on my goddamn uh, trust in his ass. Hey, can you? Uh, I'm gonna weigh your preliminary here because I can beat them in trial. What the fuck we talking about a trial, nigga? We ain't even that went to a plea and arraignment. You talking about a trial? You already talking about ahead of the game that we ain't even got to get to. That's that's the part that really killed me. So now I'm on the blow stance right now, and I'm married with my goddamn, uh, my, my son, because, oh, you got to listen to him. No, nigga, I ain't got to listen to the shit, because I got my fat skin, and I got somebody who's sitting out reading this shit, and got the warrants in front of him, not no fucking goddamn YouTube shit that everybody's sitting here talking about. Fuck that shit. How your facts is got? Your facts ain't shit. So it is what it is. So I can't present them, because you ain't brought me shit to goddamn present. I'm oh, fucked. I don't want to go in the blind and talk about, well, I can, I can talk my way out of it, and I know these people. You know, them, them days, them old days, it's old with. That old shit where you can take some money to pay niggas off, and just, that shit is old with, man. It ain't about that shit no more. It's about motherfuckers trying to come up on their ring right now. That's what all it's about right now. So that kind of basis is all I got to say, bro. Okay. I, didn't li- I, didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that, and I'm not going to, like I told him, um, tell him. When you talk to him, don't make no move until I talk to him. Yeah, I'm going to tell him that. He, yeah, he told me that. He, he told me that. Yeah, yeah, don't make no move. No, nigga, you ain't going to get me fucked up because you can't handle it. Then he didn't try to get me to try to sell me off to another goddamn private, you know, a private company. Who knows the tell this shit going to do that anyway? I've been here long enough to know they ain't doing that shit no more. Niggas saying, oh, yeah. man, listen, man, them big companies ain't taking this shit. They don't even want to deal with Ford and County no more. Nobody wants to deal with Fulton County because they don't pay. They don't pay and they don't do what they say they're going to do. Now all the niggas shit. And I, and I know what's going on. I was just sitting in the fucking elevator, elevator yesterday going to the goddamn uh, um, thing to see the lawyer yesterday with fucking goddamn John Thug sitting there talking to him for 30 fucking minutes. And I'm getting all the insight how they fucking the game up out here. So that, that was number God to me. So I ain't went in and started talking to him. You don't need it. It's, it's, nothing, it's nothing to talk about, bro. Nothing to talk I'm not finna go. I'm not putting my life in that shit. Oh, man, you need to try it. These four wouldn't even send me my fucking transcripts so I can read my own shit, man. Okay. And that shit's supposed to be free for a public defender, bro. Straight up. So it is what it is. They, they're playing with my life. For real. Okay. So it's time. How did you get, well, get my number anyway? Huh? You gave him my number. I gave him my number. I gave him your number. Yeah. I gave him a January. 
I gave it to me back in January for a um, what they call it a reference, and you know people know your character characteristic right. Right, 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 right. Okay. You know that? That's how he mm-hmm. got you. Know, I gave it to him then. See, so that's how that goes. Yeah. Calling you talking about a payment? What payment, nigga? What the fuck you talking about? There ain't no payment. Trial. What trial? We ain't going no motherfucking trial. You don't do Rico. No. Yeah. You don't do none of that. Yeah. So I just want to make sure you, you got the, the real deal from me. What's going on with me? I'm not finna do all that. I don't want that extra, extra headache. It's too much, man. I'm ready to get it. Like, you need to chill out, man. You know, your time coming. Nigga, you know, the last time off told me, they told me that back in goddamn 1991. Don't gave me 10 years for a fucking armed robbery that I didn't even do. My goddamn scary ass, scared to death, tough to shit. Some shit I didn't even do. I ain't going back to that time war, bro. I ain't going back to that. I did that shit. 1991. Scared, a young, scared black man in Douglasville County. So, no, I don't want to go back to that no more. And every time I got in trouble, I had my business handle, well, my business can handle me. Right now, unfortunately, I am fucked up because they don't water all my resources down. They don't beat them down. They don't beat it down. They took it to the fucking social media on my ass. Three, four times. You witness it. So, no, I'm not trying to hear that shit. You got your check. You ain't miss your check. Don't tell nobody I owe you because I owe you shit. You can call the wife. She's going to tell you straight the fuck up. I don't owe him nothing. I pay him in full. You have one but minute don't remaining. Deal. I don't want to deal all that because he always keep coming for some more. He want more of this and they want more. I don't trust him. You done heard it. I ain't making it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same thing with that motherfucking Patterson nigga. Had me the first day I went in the court. First day I went in the court. The day I got locked up. It is. He shouldn't get out, Your Honor, because his record. How you gonna tell a motherfucker to pay you fifteen fucking thousand dollars up front to tell the judge that he don't need to get out because of his record? Out of fucking damn first appearance. That I never forget it. Never forget it. July seventh, twenty twenty two. I will never forget that shit. But you pop on TV with them crackers getting them out on bond. They killing niggas and running them over in the ambulance. I don't want to hear walking them in the jail and walking them out. I don't want to hear that shit. So that bush. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. This next call was made immediately after the last. Dre and Coach are still on the line while Ernesto continues to talk. Ernesto also brings up meeting Young Thug again. Take a listen. Okay, you hear back one more time. If you don't mind, sir. Hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. I got to call back. Yeah. If not, we, I, I can hang up and I call you. No, nah, because we was on, we we were talking, so it, it must have hung them up when you called. It did, it did. Okay, hold on. Go so slow, man. You alright? Oh, I still got her on hold. Hold on. Where is she? There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, here we go. You didn't get all rid right. of all that phone, man. You got to get <laughs> And I've been at this place all day. I'm so fucking ready to go, man. He's holding hand. He's at 9 o'clock this morning. I got to go. I'm already behind. I'm going to go back to here now. I'll just okay. policy. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. They shouldn't have gave me a major headache. Tell me he did that. Man, come on with that cow shit, man. Come on. Come on. I, that part, I just don't like that. I just don't like that. I don't. So, but that's it, man. I, I ain't got to stress on that no more because there ain't nothing he could do for me or do what I told him to do. I would definitely need you to call your nephew and tell him to read that goddamn letter that I sent him. And I'm glad I did uh, do that. And I sent the contract to him as well so he can read it and he can send it to coach. Did he do that yet? No, he been got them a month. He ain't said he sent that shit to him yet. He ain't even meet him. And, and, hey, that shit important. It's a small thing. If you ain't got no bread, fuck that. It's a small thing that they count to get a motherfucker out there and get where he's going. That's like a dollar. So, yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad, and I should be mad, because with me, goddamn, I start with the fuck I'm doing. I don't give a damn where I'm at. I'm going to goddamn get there. Nigga, don't do me like that. You do me like that. But the money nigga be crying all day. Oh, I need you. Here, here I go. And that's what I'm in here for now. The same motherfucking thing. Help a motherfucker that they think they know what they're talking about. They first, can you help me? Because it ain't nobody helping me, and they don't understand me. 
uh, that's what the fuck I'm in now. If you read all them fucking warrants, it tells you the same thing, same exact thing. And the killing part is, all my shit is on charge with, it's from the same fucking police department. I don't live there, never have lived there. Same thing, same officer, same everything. Come on, man. Come on. And I'm trying to tell this goddamn, uh, uh, what the name is again? What it called? Perry Mason? Yesterday? Man, it's a repeater site. Can't you see that? It's a repeater site. No, because you ain't trying to see it. You ain't trying to open this shit up and read it. You ain't trying to mm-hmm. understand. You're doing everything else. Eating and drinking. Whatever the fuck you're doing, stomach getting big as a motherfucker. So, mm-hmm. anybody know how to run game? That's easy. But this is my motherfucking life right now. You can't tell somebody don't spend something and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about because you're scared motherfucker going to talk about you. Nigga, the world done talked about you now. That shit over with. You, you, you should be fighting harder for my motherfucking ass because guess what? You on the shut down stand too now, nigga. You on the stand too. Everybody talking about your motherfucking ass too. So get what you need to do. Step your motherfucking game up, get your shit, get your props together, and get you some more money. It helped you too. It hurt you. The social media hurt you, or it help you. That shit help you if you know what the fuck you're doing. But on the planet, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. This shit dropping your motherfucking left. Yeah, like I told him, nigga, this was a blessing when this dude here referred me to you. You was fucking broke, nigga. You was broke at Christmas mm-hmm. time. You was broke at Christmas time. It was a blessing. I can hear the stress in your motherfucking voice. You gonna send the money? You gonna get the money? Is it gonna pay? I'm on time. I'm on the time. I'm on this. Nigga, you ain't got an offer to get no time on. Come on now. <laughs> you're yeah. popping it. You're popping it too hard for me. You, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at you on the screen. The house got the old ass figure in the background back there. Come on, and the paint by the peel off and shit. I'm saying, I'm saying, what the fuck I'm, what I'm dealing with? But that brown ass phone just sitting up in there. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. This is 2022, 23. We still on some bullshit. So it just, the, the, the game is, motherfuckers think I'm locked up. I ain't got a sense of a bad of cornflakes. That's what they treat you like that. I'm not an average nigga to talk to me like that. Oh, you fucked up. You, you ain't not going your way. No, I ain't not going my way because y'all fucking me around. If I went and got one of them bona fide crackers to do what they do, to, to swipe everything down, you, know, you don't trust the black people no more? You don't trust the black man? Uh, I've been here fucked ever since. Ever since. So I'm not trying to really hear that part. Really, I'm trying to hear it. my freedom. Let me put these motherfuckers on the bandwagon. That means sue everything moving out there because that's the game now. Nick don't work no more. Everybody's suing. Let me get on the bandwagon and get my check for wrongly being convicted of nothing that I didn't do. So I'm not trying to hear that. I lost every motherfucking thing on hearsay. Hearsay. So you already went against the code by that goddamn uh, that, that, uh, sexual shit. That ain't my style. People, women, give me pussy. They throw this shit at me. I don't have to sit here and beg for no pussy or taking no pussy or playing with no kid running in the backwoods with a lollipop in my fucking mouth. I ain't got to do that stupid shit. And the killing part is I've been locked up long enough to know in my past to know what to do and what not to do and what not to fuck with. Come on now. So it just really fucks with my intelligence how these clowns just sit here playing with my goddamn life. So I'm just asking you to really sit down and analyze this shit, go and look at this video, look what kind of bubblegum fucking lawyer that I had, talk, popping that shit, oh, I'm this and that, and I done paid these people, and I done did, man, I'm not trying to hear that shit no more, I don't know any, I done been around the best, I done seen goddamn jazz, I done seen goddamn, I done seen all the top now motherfuckers put the, put the money in the pocket and all, I done seen all that shit. Bring some new game to me that I don't know. And all they doing is name dropping. I know that person. I know that person. I, you don't know no more. These folks ain't fucking with you like that. So I don't want to hear that shit no more either. I'm tired of hearing all that. I can make this happen. One thing that stuck with me straight up, man, I went through five lawyers till I got what I need. And I remember I referred one to you, but it wasn't a sauce for you. You had to find a sauce for you, and you found the right sauce for you. That's why you're still doing your thing. I have to commend that. So right now I got to get the right sauce for this right two cases, get this shit on me so I can bang. I'm not finna sit here and take lesser charges, 
So I'm not finna be walking around my head now for something I ain't do. I'm not finna walk down here checking in. Oh, you got a sex or something. You got to check in. Check the fuck in for something I didn't do. I'm not finna hear that shit. I'm not doing that. That's what they do to niggas. And niggas get fucked up every time. They just had shit on the news. Niggas sitting up in the damn squalling in the house. He had a motherfucking uh, blend in the blender. But when they checked his fucking record, that warning, he was in for, he was, uh, uh, they arrested because he didn't check in for being a fucking child in the federal penitentiary after he did his time. That's how he locked his ass up. Couldn't put the nigga out of the house. Couldn't put him out of the house. But he locked his ass up and brought that fucking goddamn goon squad out there and locked him up because he didn't got, he failed to register for being a fucking damn sex offender. I'm not finna go. God be showing me the signs. I'm not finna be caught up in that shit. I'm sitting here next to the motherfuckers, a hundred of them sitting next to me in the cell next door to me. A hundred of them every day coming in and drink. That shit fucks my goddamn mental up. That I gotta see the same shit that I'm charged with. I'm looking at them niggas over there. That's their lifestyle. You think I ain't, and they come and tell me, hey, you, uh, you just need to chill out. What the fuck? But you going to eat them pork and beans and steak every night and slobbing on whatever the fuck you got them drinking on, okay, and tell me I need to chill. I'm not trying to hear that. Nah. And you paid too? And if you ain't paid, I, I, I won't do that. Guess the here's, the, here's the, here's the, here's the other part I don't like. Call coach every night. I didn't see no payment. If the payment came in yet? If the payment came in yet? Pay- I'm making moves from in here. Making sure you got yours. That's what pissed me the fuck off right there. They ain't putting that, they ain't, they ain't talking about that on the, uh, uh, on the YouTube. They ain't got that all out there, is it? No, they ain't. They're not. Uh-uh, they didn't start the phone calls on there. No, they ain't got that on it. No, they ain't, because they ain't going to talk about that. They're not going to talk about yeah. the struggle. No, they don't want to talk about some so-called what they want to make it juicy. No, they don't want to talk about that. They don't. And they ain't gonna come tell me, oh, yeah, he upset about that. He upset about that gay shit. I say he has all the right. Because he's not like certain people out here just faking the phone. He's not behind the closet like a lot of these niggas is. So I said what I had to say because I'm talking to you. That's what the fuck I'm talking to. Because you in the closet too, nigga. You talk like you know, you talk like you're out the closet, dude. You know? so, so don't talk to me like that. You know, I'm saying, I don't give a fuck about nothing. Them shits ain't helping me. They ain't helping me at all. They they bad in the eye, they ain't here for me. So it is what it is. Um, well you just need to calm down. No, I don't need to calm down. I don't need to calm down. Cause I'm burnt the fuck out and I'm tired of the games and shit. Cause I was on the street, you won't be playing the game. Not at all. So so that that's that's, that's all I'm going. I just wanna say that right there, man. Just please got down, get get your nephew to read that what I said and I I, I told him straight up. I told him straight up. So, and that time he get on the phone, got down with nephew, he be spinning his motherfucking ass. Oh, oh, oh. then I told the nephew, nephew be got down, uh, what the fuck are you saying, nigga? You trimming out the mouth? I, I taught you not to trim out the mouth. Nigga, you saw me go to the goddamn when I went down to that fair down there, and I'm cracking one plan. I went on down there, I ain't tell on no motherfucker. I showed your daddy one of a third nigga. I ain't got to tell on no motherfucker about to take my motherfucking lick. I took my lick and kept going. You see? You saw your dad stand up with you with his motherfucking balls in his hand. So what the fuck is you talking about? Oh, you don't went worse than this. No, nigga, I ain't never been in county jail this long. Never. Mm-hmm. So stop, stop playing on that end over there, too. And then here's another thing. Uh, you there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. And here's the killer point. This is what really makes me mad. When a stranger got to reach out, because a stranger get tired too much of people like, like, like if you at a nursing home or, or you got a, a doctor, you got the fucking nurses helping more than the family helping, right? So here's, here's, uh, this is what irritate me. Then I got to hear my other friend that been rock and roll me for a year and a half to make sure I got everything in the jail wise. Okay, phone call, visit, everything they're supposed to have to keep your mind together. Okay, consistently. But when I got to hear this from somebody that's just giving help, saying, why am I the only one been shorter in your life that's helping you and everybody been in your life the longest I can't do nothing? That shit is embarrassing. You know why it's embarrassing? Because I can't do for anything they want. And my buddy, best friend, know this from his own eyes. So, yeah. Yeah, in my mind, 
it, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I didn't train them right. Or they just fucking missed the fucking thing. It was on the show, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure this shit out. But I can't worry about that right now. I got to work out, worry about what's in front of me right now. Yeah, he didn't do it. He not that type of That shit good. You know that in your heart. You know what's going on. But that shit ain't nothing if you ain't got no steps to the game. Me and with me, I would get rid of all that fucking junk. Get rid of all that shit I'm trying to say. And start the fuck over. And work at McDonald's. If with me, I'll make sure you get what you need. Because I know if my man's straight, I'm going to be straight. But people don't think like that. And now what I was trying to say to uh, Coach, they're not Coach from the old school we came from. When niggas got out of jail, nigga had a package waiting on him. Here you get some clothes, man. I'm going to take you shopping. I'm going to get you put some dollars in your pocket. Nigga don't do that no more. Nigga say, you want some fentanyl? I got some fentanyl for you. You can get, you can take that and make some dollar with What the fuck is that for a nigga who don't even do that shit? He can't make no money. Yeah. He can't come back up. He can't do shit. So, and I'm pretty sure you, you can tell I'm very, very, very frustrated. I am. I don't like that part. I don't. So, that's it. You ain't got to conversate with that nigga no more. And there, he was, uh, don't make no move. Nobody ain't finna put nothing in your pocket, nigga. You paid. He don't think you just, he, go, uh, he say he ain't talked to you, your wife in, in, in a minute. But guess what? He ain't lying. You trying to check. You trying to see who talking to her. You trying to, ain't nobody talking nowhere. That shit cut off. You, so you can go back and back channel on that shit. Hmm. Here's my light bill. I got me some light bill money here. Well, oh, I got my mortgage money right now. I can use all this right here. Let me check. No, nigga, that shit over with. You pay. Do what you need to do. You didn't call me. No, nigga, I ain't call you because you told me you'd come back in the month to bring me the paper that you told me you going to bring that we supposed to win the court on. You see? You never brought me the papers. So it is what it is. And I know I'm on the record line. I don't give a fuck. Because if I sit here and try to keep covering my motherfucking mouth, I'll be drained. And that's what the fuck they trying to do. It is what it is. And everything I'm talking about now is already recorded online. It's already recorded on everywhere. It don't need fucking matter. It don't pertain to my motherfucking case. So he sit here and lie. He took care of that. No, the fuck you did. No, the fuck you did. Mm-hmm. So that's another lie. So that kind of, that kind of, I think I got it all together, sir. And, uh, uh, I think I got to say that all I had to say, they're going to check with the other person to make sure they're thorough. Whatever, whoever needs to be thorough, they're going to make sure you get the approval and you talk to whatever. If you if you decide to do uh, help or whatever you want to do uh, on your time, not on my fucking time, because I ain't got no time anyway to sit here um, to, to see what's really going on. And uh, if it's for your approval, uh, I would like to get some help. But it's going to be on your time. It ain't going to be on nobody's time, but on your time. You there? Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. I'm here. Okay, I just want to make sure you listen because they say your voice is crackling, you know. I said to myself, what the fuck? Man, I'm not trying to hear huh. <laughs> I can't wait to get some chicken on that shit, boy. I can't wait to get this mouthpiece on some real chicken out here. I can't wait. And you know what really killed me? I remember when T.I. and the and the tiny guy out there, Jeff I got out here, yeah, they got a sex with y'all, the girl say she they did this to her. Get what? This nigga making movies, nigga did all type of shit. Man, niggas just be lying on motherfuckers. If they do lie, they're going to put some juice and water to it all the time. Oh, he did it. They did it. They got him trapped down in the basement. They doing all these type of shit. This man done moved on with his motherfucking life and all who was talking, all that shit. Them folks was broke, sitting around, eating corn chips, trying to figure out their nick chain. So I have to stay positive. I have to stay positive. And there was a reason why I met goddamn young thug yesterday. I wasn't looking for that man. Not at all. Just going to mm-hmm. the same place at the same time. Keep your head up, huh? That's what the young nigga told me. That was what the, that was what the man told me. So they got him blast all on TV again. They go on trial. So it is. Yeah, that's what the lawyer told me that they're going to go on the trial. What are you telling me? So, it is what it is. So, that's all I got to say, sir. Uh, like I said, please, please, conversate with the coach and make sure everything is together. Are you already eating your chicken ball, sir? Uh uh-uh. uh. I just left. Um, I'm heading back to the I'm in Louisville, Kentucky, for a minute. I okay. gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Make sure I'm going down the wrong street, Miss Oprah. I'm okay. in uncharted territories right now, so. Uh, I'm I, but I'm listening. I, I hear you. 
Okay. Ain't nothing for me to say. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's I know, good. I know, I know. Not, not right now. But that's it. That's because everything is being recorded and it's being, it's going to be used against you, all of us, and they're going to flip it how they want to flip it. So I'm like, you know, yeah, I, I, I don't. I got you. I you, ain't, you don't have to say nothing. I said what I had to say. You, you, you're going to die sick. I know you are. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, y'all stay in touch. That's the best, that's the best I need from you. Stay in touch and, and, uh, figure this shit out for your boy. That's it. Yep. That's it. So, so that's it. You're right. All right, brother. I love you. And, uh, thank you for taking my call and be safe out there. And, uh, just handle it, bro. I'm always, I'm always do that. Yeah, yeah, you're going you're gonna to do whatever you're going to do. I know you it. You still in the track with the other people? Where, 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 where your other folks at? What other folks? Bro, he's like, no, they're like, let me tell you, I ain't tell you this. Can I tell you this? Like, like, like everybody else, you ain't got to call you. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, shit, yeah, 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 she called him. She called the nigga. You know, the nigga say, oh, 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 so this is the go-to right now. Okay, y'all yeah, go down there and see him. Nigga never came. He came one time being nosy. You remember I told you that? No, I, no, I ain't talking. About, I ain't talking about him. I, I'm not talking about him. I, I, I ain't worried about him. Yeah, you told me about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, no, that's it, bro. I I'm talking about the close, the close minute search with the doctor with your son and all them. What, where they at? I don't have any numbers and stuff. I don't have none of that. Okay. I, I only got, I only got locked up when they locked up. They took my phones and everything. So I only had two numbers. I had the number from, um, from the lady that I had that, uh. I have that no, he still ain't getting water. He still ain't getting water. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I don't have any. I think I, I talked to Coach. Coach said them folks don't fall off. They know we'll be around. So that's all. I was just, I'm just asking. That's all in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody, everybody else gone. They really want nothing. They, they're gone. They're gone. Everybody fell off. Yeah. If the white man put on the TV and say, hey, man, um, hey, man, we're going to give you all. Here's the thing. COVID come, we're going to give you all, all the PPP money, and you ain't got to pay it back. Niggas, what they do? They ran to that shit. The ones who got it, got it. I didn't get the shit. The ones who got it, what they did? They fought their money up. They were so fucking happy going to the mall, doing everything that they never done for in their fucking life. Couldn't even afford the shit. Damn, guess what happened? When they broke their back and said, y'all got to pay this money back. But they didn't want to bleed their part, but they bleed the part. We got this free money for you. So basically, I think that well, they got so much shit going on out there with me, everybody's afraid of whatever's going on with me. But I don't know. They got this saying this and they saying that. And the thing they used to see on, on YouTube or whatever they look at on TV, they believe it. So now when it comes to the close network home base, uh, well, it must be true. There's so many people talking about it. Those are closed-minded people. So... Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those are closed minds. Remember, I just tell you all the time, don't, I give you first hand, man, don't listen to that with them folks talking about, they don't know what they're talking about. Just way before I even got, we're talking about four or five years before I got locked up right now. They tell you all the time, don't listen to that shit, there'd be some other shit be going on. But I'd be dead on what I'm saying. Same thing when I tell anybody, uh, the strange person. I say, man, them folks gonna look out for them folks. Hey, them folks is not, that's too much money to lose. They're going to make money off the situation. That's exactly what I said. Did you read that article that was sent to you? Yeah. I said exactly. I told you that. And I told you exactly when I talked to them last time on the phone, I told them, I said, you know, they, they, these folks going to come out of some kind of way on social media, all that. Do you want to deal with that? Do you want, oh, no, 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 I don't want to do all that. I said, well, do you want it? Do you need to let me know straight up? Are you ready to sign them papers? Are you going to keep everything together? Oh, ain't nobody going to pressure me to do nothing. You remember I said that? I told them that. I told them that. Oh, ain't nobody going to, okay, all right. But when that pressure hit, guess what? Don't, t- don't, don't call me no more. Tell them don't call me no more. Do you know how that shit made me feel after I done forewarned you? I don't know, is that a, a, pre- a privity that God gave me, uh, a vision to, to see shit? But I saw it and saw it and I spoke on everything. So right now, uh, get, re- get ready, what they call them, boy, we going on football games, they go to the Super Bowl, they going to, uh, Disney World. <laughs> Get ready to go to this world, sir, because we're going. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. going. Yeah. And it's coming. 
I can't say it's going to be tomorrow, but I'm going to sit back and say, hey, when you drain that Scott, when all this shit's over with, hey, man, I sure appreciate you, man. And you can't tell me shit. So it's mm-hmm. coming. Yeah, it's coming. I do know that. I just cannot let no goddamn lane try to distract me of what they think they're doing. And that would try to happen yesterday. That was a lame move. That was a super lame move. Mm-hmm. All, the, all the way around. And when he got that letter from yesterday, and I, and I made the good. Did, did, did he call anybody else? Did you know what? No, sir. I don't know nobody. He else. said he was going down a list of people. There ain't no list. There ain't no list. Yeah. Man. Just, that what he, yeah, he said. Yeah, he was going down a list of people that he could think of that he put you put him in contact with. No, man. I'm yeah. Only, he only got four people. Four people. Okay. The four people are three men, three men, and one lady. That is it. You catching on now? Yeah. Okay. That is it. But he never called the motherfucking lady because he don't want to call and talk to the lady. <laughs> He's terrified of them. Yeah. And then what I don't like is you're always trying to throw them in the mix like they'll, they'll bring harm to me. Nigga, you forgot. I put it in the letter. You forgot how I started talking to you. The same person you're afraid of is the person who put us together. You just don't want them to see your card. They don't call your bluff too many times. Too many times. That is coach. You catching on that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. I ain't finna sit here and cap, sit here and be bullshitting around. Exactly when you say, hey man, uh, when, when your son seeing something, first thing I said, man, nigga ain't sent me nothing. And I can see you rolling back in that goddamn truck right now. What What the fuck he just said? What the fuck he just said? I told you the truth. I told you the truth. Did I not? Who you, who you say have sent you nothing? My son. Oh, really? You remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we t- we talked about that. You know, you, I sent him the money. I said, yeah, he said he's trying to get on the car. Well, he, 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 said, he said he was tapped out, too, trying to maintain we ain't talking all about stuff that he can maintain. Oh, my maintain your stuff, yeah. Okay. Let me explain something to you. I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to tell you what he told me. Uh, I'm going to tell you one more time. He done been around you for almost 20-some years. I'm not trying to hear that shit. He done seen me and you. Tap eyes, start over, tap eyes, start over. Are you trying to hold on to that old-ass shit? Come on, man. Did that shit bring value to the game? I'm the value, nigga. I'm the value. I'm your daddy. I'm the one who shares shit with your motherfucking ass. Nigga don't share shit. Nigga's daddy don't share shit with them like that. This ain't them days of time. Me and you are rare. They don't have daddies like, especially come from no fucking chain gang. Hell no. That's all you talk to any young person right now. Man, my daddy wasn't in my life. My daddy knew my life. Any one young woman, young man that tell you that shit right now today. Right now. We ain't talking about no teenager. We talking about these motherfuckers 20, 25, 30 years old. I don't know what my dad look like for that nigga. Come on, man. I don't give a damn what kind of man I'm supposed to be and somebody. I don't give a fuck about that. But when it came out to them children, I make sure they got them got what they need to get. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna give a damn about no baby mamas. I've been drugged by them motherfuckers. I ain't give a damn. I get what they doing. And I don't give a damn in the world here, too. They ain't gonna send them motherfuckers one very little part, man, looking out the goddamn the, the ceiling fan up there twisting around, squeaking and shit. And that that, that, that boss motherfucking TV and shit. That's all they motherfucking do. Hey, when he go off, he go off. Hey, all in. Hey, hey, he did. So, hey, he did. When he go off, he go off. Hey, I'm just telling the truth. And, the, and I'm looking at my goddamn, I'm looking at my goddamn my defense mechanism. I'm looking at, what kind of TV that nigga? That nigga got that old ass screen sitting up there with that big frame around. <laughs> <laughs> with the blue, with the blue goddamn tin in the back. I said, what the fuck is going on right here? I said, shit. Hey, you so good. <laughs> about that man? That man keeps you alive. Hey, man. I, I, How you doing, that man? Like I said, that man said he got some type of cases off you, too, while you finna talk about the TV. Well, ain't nigga ain't got shit on me. That nigga ain't finna lie like that. That's what he said. He said he got him pulled out. Oh, he lying, man. That nigga mm-hmm. lying like a motherfucker, man. Guess what I can do? Pull up on line. Pull up on line. Goddamn, listen, man. 
you want to know, you're going to laugh in a minute when you get your two fat. Goddamn coach going to bring the goddamn, she's going to bring the manuscript out on you and let you see it. And you're like, oh, God. You have I'm one gonna... minute remaining. See, I had to let my God, I had to let my spirit settle down last night because I was hot. I was hot. I was hot. I was hot. Yeah, let, me, let me ask you a quick question. So on the little video I watched the other day, the little black chick, is, is that the prosecutor or she yeah. worked for the prosecutor? No, that's the prosecutor. That's the prosecutor. She look real. She look real young. Yes, yeah, the prosecutor. That's her. That's the same with the one on the, on the first video that uh, that I did when I did. Yeah. So, so she's the DA. Yes, yes, yes. And the, and the really? was, and the white DA, the white DA was coaching her the whole time to tell lies. If you go back to the first goddamn video uh, that they did, you can see he was coaching her to say that. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, I heard him in the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, see, he wasn't there to coach it because they're on two different charges. See, that's why. She was there by herself. Really? She was fucked up. Yeah, that's how they've been playing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why Coke can show you all. Thank you for using Global Telling. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.